On to our other big story tonight. Five Cal U football players accused of a brutal attack that nearly killed a man. Ralph Iannotti is live new at 11 tonight. Ralph. Hi, Susan. Uh, these football players tonight are sitting in the Washington County Jail, each charged with aggravated assault, conspiracy, and reckless endangerment. The bail, $500,000 apiece. And tonight, this campus has been rocked by what happened and the repercussions. It was outside this California borough restaurant where police say a 30-year-old man was beaten and stomped on until he lost consciousness. Arrested were five California University football players. Everything that happened was outside. As far as inside the business, everything was calm. The owner of the restaurant, Jeff Schumann, says he didn't know anything was wrong until he witnessed police cars pulling up outside. Some of the faces I recognize from being in here before that happened last night. So I think some of them were here, got food, and it happened after they left. The five players arrested were Jonathan Barlow of Pittsburgh, DeAndre Dunkley of Philadelphia, Corey Ford of Harrisburg, Rodney Gillen of Reading, and James Williamson of Parkville, Maryland. The victim, identified as Lewis Campbell, was transported to Allegheny General Hospital in Pittsburgh, where he's in the ICU unit with a severe brain injury. I feel it's terrible that this happened, and I think it's kind of almost a, I don't want to say slander to the school, but poorly represents it. Looks bad on our teams, looks bad on our school. I feel bad for whoever um, the victim was. Interim University President Geraldine Jones released a statement. It said in part, Cal U does not tolerate violent behavior. The five boys will face school sanctions along with penalties imposed by law. And this weekend's football game is canceled. I don't think you should punish the whole team because of it. I think that the players involved should be punished if they did it. You think they should have canceled the game after something like this? Yeah. I mean, just in respect to the person that was injured. It's unfortunate. There's a lot of good, hardworking people I know on the football team uh, that it's, it's punishing them and, you know, the rest of the student body. But I think it was definitely a smart decision to cancel the game. So what prompted this uh, incident early this morning? Well, according to court documents, the victim was a non-student. He got into a uh, situation, a fight with uh, one of the players when the player uh, said something to his girlfriend. At that point, the four other players got involved in the brawl. Now, you may recall earlier this month, two other Cal U football players were arrested. We reached out to the administration tonight for an on-camera interview, but they said no one was available. We're live in California Borough tonight. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.